Hi folks, I want to show you how I built this camera rig. And uh, this is the original design that I picked off of Thingiverse. And here is my modified design. So if you go to Thingiverse and look up Flying Rich, you'll find everything I've designed. And here is the stages of the design. So here's the original L bracket. I scaled it up so it would fit the half inch EMT, which is about 18 millimeters, as opposed to the 15 millimeter aluminum hull. Here's some printing, test fit, another shot of test fit on the extruded metal tubing. Here's another layout and cure on how it's going to be printed. And here's the first few layers of a print. This is done at 10%, so you can see it's 90% hollow. And this is the same print, a little bit further along, and another angle of it. Here's finished parts. Another shot of finished parts and printing the shoulder pads. There were two separate pieces. A little bit more shoulder pad printing. And here is the final product. Now I did test fit it and put it together. And what I realized is you can see there's some cracking here and a little bit of deformation. So I was printing again at a 10% infill and a 0.7 millimeter uh, out exterior layer. So you see deformation here. That's not sharp, but you can see the deformation. And here the, there's, again, not real good. So what I did do is I printed it at 15% infill and 1.5 millimeter layer uh, outside external layers. And this also was kind of butterflying out. So this is one of the original and this is my new print. I opened up the hole to 19 millimeters. And again, 1.5 millimeter uh, outside layer and 15 millimeter infill. And you can see a couple of shots. So this is the original one, and this is the new one. You can see the uh, tabs are more parallel. And uh, that's the end piece. So again, another part, and I, I'm sorry I can't give proper attribution, Somebody on Thingiverse had a bunch of tube ends and I just scaled it to fit and the first one was correct and it gives it a lot better finished look. Okay folks, here's the DSLR camera rig and uh, this is a Canon T2i. The rig is four pounds, two ounces all together. I haven't done an empty weight. This is, um, I don't have the plugs in here, but I do have the plugs I printed in here. So, uh, and on the back side. This is all from Thingiverse. I've modified it to use a super cheap half inch EMT. Uh, that's extruded metal tubing, that's conduit, electrical conduit. It's, I think $3.40 at Home Depot for 10 feet. I cut it on a trim saw, you know, a chop saw, so I got nice 90 degree cuts. I, I didn't even sand or deburr them. I just boom, dropped the plugs in. Uh, I've beefed up and printed new L brackets here, which will be posted on Thingiverse. Also, I beefed up the uh, bracket right here where it mounts. So, pretty much, you can build this for less than 20 bucks worth of filament. Uh, less than four bucks worth of tubing and if you get a better deal on the metric hardware there's 14 nuts and bolts that go into this they're m4 they were like about 60 cents a piece i'm sorry 60 cents a pair at home depot you probably can find a better deal on these things elsewhere but that's the dslr rig the other project i've been working on has been a slider and the slider I haven't been happy with, and I actually have it very loose on the screws here, so you can see. Uh, even with that, the movement hasn't been so good. I decided, now these have ball bearings, there's two ball bearings per wheel, eight ball bearings total. And I was going to redesign the wheel, and I was going to use two brass sleeves, and I figured it was the imprecision of the fit of assembling. And when I started modeling brand new wheels, I found out that these designs, and however they got to me, uh, you know, I downloaded them from Thingiverse, of course, but the uh, 
the end product wasn't concentric centered perfect. So the wheel doesn't actually uh, rotate about its center properly. And it has nothing to do with the assembly and the bearing. I am printing one new wheel right now just to test the bearing fit. And after that, I'm going to print a whole new set of wheels and hopefully I get back to you with some good news on my slider. And again, this slider is modified from a Thingiverse design just like the DSLR rig. And this uses half inch EMT. This is one length, one ten foot length of half inch EMT. And it is $3.40 if I recall correctly from Home Depot. So no expensive tubing is needed. You can just use this stuff and uh, have nice products with it. Hey folks, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, visit flyingrich.com where all of my social media is aggregated and visit patreon.com slash flying rich. If you donate, I greatly appreciate it. Just one dollar a month from one person or many one persons would make a big difference and would help fund and finance a lot of what I've been doing. I've been doing YouTube for a number of years. I've been podcasting for a number of years and blogging and posting. And I hope I provide helpful content to you. And if it's worth a dollar, I'd greatly appreciate that you donate a dollar a month. Right now, I have made zero money from all of my efforts online. That's blogging, posting uh, content on YouTube, and being a host on a uh, multiple podcast. And I have gotten zero for it. And... If you could find a way to donate $1 a month, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will list you, and I will list you at the end of my videos as a Patreon sponsor for $1 a month.